Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video and welcome to the final storybook video. Now if you're new to the channel, if you've just clicked on this video, you're like who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. Hello my name is Raven and I've been working on this farm core island called Storybrook for a hot minute now and we have finally finally finished everything and I am ready to show you the final tour and how everything turned out so I'm super excited about it. <sighs> And it never fails. Every, every single intro, someone has to interrupt. Okay, anyways, if you've been following me on this island or following this channel for a while, then all of this will probably look very familiar to you. But I just wanted to do one final tour all wrapped up in a nice little bow just to end it off like I do for all of my islands. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to show you the map first. Usually I get a cute little commission of my map and just have like a really cute stylized one, but I ran out of time this time around for my island. So we're going to have to settle for the in-game map. So I have a bunch of farm core villagers. I've got some chickens, I've got some pigs, ducks, a barn cat, frogs, all that good stuff. I do have a second player on this island and my grandma did play as this character. I have never really been that good at maps. I've never really been able to make like a super pretty aesthetic map. So my maps just end up being like whatever, like however it looks, that's how it's gonna look. I never really put effort into the map specifically. But we are here starting off at my airport entrance. I do have an orange airport and this ended up being the final flag. I, I truly meant to make my own flag, um, but that never happened. <laughs> So let's start off here and let's go ahead and go around. I suppose let's go this way. This was my very first kind of like little build here on the island and it's just this little wheat field with a little picnic area, a little pond, and a cute little forest in the back. I really like it. It just takes up this little corner area so that's really nice. And then we're gonna go down and we have our beach here and we have like a little library reading area. This is one of my favorite favorite beach spots like I just think it's so cute and I just love how it all came together and we also have my mailbox which is really annoying to walk all the way over here to get but it's okay because now I'm done with this island then we just have some like random decor throughout the beach as we walk up and up and up and then coming over here we have kind of another little bit of a build so I saw this as like the little processing area for all of the crops and the fruit on this island so we've got like some little machines some little tools up here we've got like a little packaging station all that kind of good stuff and then crossing over onto the land we have a little mini farm you're gonna see quite a few of these throughout the island so this is just one of many one of many and I guess let's hit up this back area before I forget about it. So over here we have a little fruit farmer's market because we have the little uh, farm orchard right next to it. So we're selling all of the fruit, all of the jam, all the apples and everything. We have someone mowing the lawn, all that good stuff. So yeah, there's our little apple orchard. And then running back, we've got this little beach area with a little mini pumpkin farm and just some random decor sprinkled around. But if we go up, we have Molly's house and Molly's yard. Now all of my villager houses are renovated. So if you want to go in and see them, then feel free to visit my dream address. I'm not going to be looking at them in this video just for the sake of time, but feel free to go and visit yourself. My uh, dream address is probably in the description and you saw it on my map and everything. So yeah, here we have kind of like a flea market slash farmer's market area. Well, this is the farmer's market area. We have fruit, veggies, honey, all that kind of stuff, little food stalls. So that's a perfect little use of the peninsula in my opinion. And then back here is like the flea market section where you can buy random stuff. You can get like... Uh, casserole dishes and plushies, you know, everything you could possibly need. So going back down this bridge and we're gonna just quickly sprint down here. This leads us to Able Sisters, which is right here kind of like, oh, oh. <laughs> Miss Girl, I'm kind of in the middle of something if you don't mind. This is kind of like on the left side of the island, you know, and here's another little mini farm and here's the beach we just walked across. Oh my goodness, Winnie, not now. <laughs> but if we go over here, 
we have the plaza and truly the plaza is not really anything too exciting i just have like some fences around it winnie okay this is embarrassing girl i'm trying to make a video but coming out from the plaza we have this main road which leads us all the way right back to the entrance so hopefully you can start seeing how things connect anyways let's go and take this path down here we've got another mini farm and here we have our campsite which i really really love i think this has been my favorite campsite that i have made so far it is just so cute we've got a little picnic area we've got our little um what is this called oh my goodness laundry station <laughs> we have like a little pond for fishing we've got a little picnic over here and if we go down the campsite actually extends onto the beach. So here is my second player's tent, AKA my grandma's tent, which works perfectly for the campsite. And we have just like a little relaxing area down here. So now let's go ahead and take this north exit from the campsite. And that spits us out right here where we have this little uh, fountain. <laughs> Why am I forgetting words today? And this is kind of like the most developed part of the island. This is the only uh, pavement you'll see anywhere in the island. But here to the left, we have kind of like a little gardening area. And we've got a little garden full of very random flowers here. And of course, little watering stations, plants, everything. All the little sprouts over here. Very, very cute. And if you go more left, we have one of our bigger farm areas, which is just off of this main path that leads back to the airport. For this farm area specifically, I didn't want to do like the crops in like little rows or in little like perfect squares. I kind of wanted to make it a little bit of a free for all. So as you can see, they're in their own sections, but it's nothing like defined and the rocks are the thing that's kind of separating them here. So I really like this one just because it's Kind of dynamic like that you know but let's go ahead and go up and then we'll go to the right and to the right of the plaza we have a little milk and cookie station so cute and we've got some terraforming back there if you can see that just this little bit of a cliff and to the right over here we have nook's cranny and i did do a little bit of an extension on nook's cranny it got some renovations and as you can see here we've got some more things for sale we've got some uh canned veggies and stuff we've got some salmon that's been sitting out here for i don't know how long i would not eat that but nook's cranny itself i went pretty simple just some bushes some flowers some of these little potted plants out front on the pedestals because to the right we have a little farmer's market again <laughs> this was like the first one that i built so i definitely think it's the inferior farmer's market but we do have a little shopping bag for your uh convenience and we've got like some apple cider and jam and all that kind of good stuff very very good and then if we walk to the right we have the museum once again very simple i didn't really do anything that crazy for any of my buildings just because i really wanted to focus on kind of like the farm aspect of everything not necessarily the buildings and here's Profina. Hey, Profina. So we actually have a little secret path back here behind the museum if you want to hop to it. See what I did there? And we have this little magical garden area. It's a secret. Don't tell anybody, okay? It's a cute little picture spot if you're looking to take some cute pics. But let's go ahead and take this diagonal path. Now we have a little bus station over here. We just have a little patch of flowers over here. And we can kind of veer off a little bit and we're here at the stables Ooh! so if you want to take some horseback riding lessons or you just want to ride a horse or feed a horse or pet a horse this is the location for you and they also have a little trail that you can take oh i'm going the wrong way it goes this way <laughs> it goes clockwise um but this is like a little beach horseback riding trail that you can take if you're so inclined so that was one of my this is also one of my favorite Kind of like beach builds that i did very fun very fun anyways continuing down this diagonal path we are here at the big farm this is like the main farm area this is where all the magic happens as you can see we got all of our crops so many of them so many and punchy is the farm manager here so this is his house once again it is decorated He's got a little bit of a side yard, you know, he likes to ride his mopeds on the weekends and everything like that. And then he's got like little sections here for storage and for tools and stuff like that. And down here we've got some more tools and stuff that you might need. And let's go, yeah, let's go down to the beach. I'm trying to decide where I should go next. <laughs> so down here is kind of like a little family picnic area, you know, you've got your little book, you've got your 
grill, all that kind of good stuff. And then we've got like a cute little trail down here. Hello, Punchy. And once you cross that trail, we are here at the fishing docks. So we do dabble in fishing a little bit here on the farm island. Not that much, not that much, but a little bit. So we've got some fishy decorations here. And going up, we've also got some more beach decorations. I really like this section with the headphones and the hammock. So cute. And pretty simple, pretty simple as we go up here. Then we have like a matching little bug section for Flick whenever he stops by. He can go ahead and do his uh, bug inspections and whatever else he's got to do. So we got all the bug stuff here. And then going up, we just have some random scattered decor and I truly didn't know what to do here. I don't know if you could tell. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna head back down and we're gonna go up this bridge that's here. And once you're about halfway up the bridge, you can pan your camera up and I tried to make like a barn. I don't know if it really translates, but I tried to make a barn. So that's my my singular um simple panel building build that I tried. I tried, okay. <laughs> so here you do hit a wall um, because it looked weird without some sort of wall behind it. But you can go either left or right and that dumps you out into the neighborhood. Cute. So as you can see on the map, let me show you the map. We have kind of like a little semicircle of houses over here with like a cute little centerpiece. So that's kind of the layout for this. We have, I think this is Nan's house. I don't remember whose house is where. I recently moved them all around and stuff. We have another house over here and then our little centerpiece is just kind of like this little gazebo and a bike and some windmills for that farm court aesthetic then we have another house over here with a little crafting station then we have this house over here which i think is my favorite house from this neighborhood because it's got the little ducky super cute and then going through this archway we have a little fake bridge really cute and we're here at the chicken station the what is this called again the chicken coop the chicken coop why did i say chicken station so you can go in the chicken coop and we've got all the chickens here doing their work and we've got goose and brofina's house um, on either side as you can see and then over here we have just like a little mini wheat farm so we can grow some chicken feed you know and then going off to the right i didn't really do too much on this side but you can go up here up this little ladder and we have a corn maze wow so you can go ahead and try your luck at this corn maze best of luck besties it's totally not super easy <laughs> and there is a little prize for you down at the end if you can see it down there if you manage to make it through and if you watch my build video on that then you can just spoil yourself on how to do it <laughs> but anyway let's take this path all the way back and we've got this archway this pipe doesn't really lead to anything it just takes you back like next to the plaza just a shortcut and my house area is here and if you can't tell it is the county fair so we've got our ferris wheel we've got our carousel we've got apple bobbing we've got the tractor doing hay rides but pretend these are hay rides and we've got popcorn and snacks and we have ice cream and games and all that kind of stuff that's what my house ended up being i really really like it this is one of my favorite areas on the island to be honest over here we have like the animal contest you know like where they give the blue ribbon to the animals this little horsey over here won and then over here's my secret beach pretty simple honestly pretty simple nothing too fancy over here so let's go back up because i still have some more areas to show you over here excuse me winnie excuse me winnie excuse me thank you so if you go up this ladder we just have like the little food eating area for the county fair you can buy some snacks some meals and you can just sit and eat them and have a chill good time so that's pretty much what that is and then if we go south we have a little mushroom farm wow it's so different from all my other farms it's mushrooms we actually have a little ladder down here if you want to check out this little section and this is also a cute little picture spot we missed some sections over here so i'm gonna hop on over so right here we are kind of like next to the plaza a little bit let me just run all the way back to show you here's the plaza so we go right and then we have this path right here which you can either go up this incline or you can go over here so let me go over here first because this is where we came from so we just have this little path and this is tad's yard so cute i love the waterfalls and everything like that 
very very cute and he's kind of got like a little green froggy theme going on here i just love this section so much it's so nice so yeah there's his yard and he's got lots of water elements and waterscaping of course of course because he needs to stay hydrated and then if we go back and we go up this we have the apiary slash beekeeping beehive area and we have plenty of little spots where they sell their honey that they make and we kind of have like this winding path that goes through everything and we have some little uh, beekeeper hives scattered throughout. But the main area is kind of over here. This is where they're doing their best work, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's pretty much my island. So I hope you liked it. I hope you liked this tour. Again, feel free to visit my dream address if you're interested. Take pictures, tag me on social media in your pictures. I'd love to see them. Thank you so much for sticking with me throughout this journey on this island if you've been here for a while or even if you just joined i appreciate you so so much if you ever want to go back and watch all of the old videos on this island i have a whole storybook playlist on my youtube channel so feel free to check that out whenever you're feeling nostalgic and yeah that that ends this chapter that ends this chapter i can't believe it and then if you didn't know for the month of may i'm doing a 30-day challenge island so feel free to check that out too and then after that we are going to start our next island which is a total secret nobody knows what it is be on the lookout for that as well i can't wait to start that one and uh another big thank you for sticking around i really appreciate you thank you so much again for watching and i will see you in the next one